Hey everyone! Today's video is going to be um, my haul from the new holiday collection from MAC, A Tartan Tale. And um, I, when I did my uh, Las Vegas clothing haul the other day, I forgot to show you one of the things that I bought. And I'm wearing it today, so I'm just going to quickly show it to you now. It's a, a shirt that I got at Forever 21 in Las Vegas from the Faith 21 line. And I don't know how well you can see the uh, graphic on here, but um, let me try tilting the camera down a little bit. It's a picture of a girl who's shopping in a city with a little dog. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it's black and then the um, picture is in like a tan color. And um, I really like this shirt, but I just wanted to show it to you because I had forgotten to show it to you the other day. And as far as, um, I'm sorry I didn't put up a video yesterday, but it was supposed to be my Las Vegas makeup haul, but they messed up. Um, I had bought some things from the Mac Pro Store in Las Vegas, and they messed up and they did not ship my package. So not only did it not come yesterday, now I'm not going to get it for a week because I had to call them yesterday and get it all straightened out. But, but the heck with that, because today I've got all these things to show you from the, the holiday collection and I know I said I wasn't going to buy more than two things from each limited edition collection but I couldn't help myself I love the holiday collections as a matter of fact last year's holiday collection was what really got me into Mac in the first place um, I also bought some other things but let's get right to the, um, the holiday stuff first, because um, I know that's probably what you're most interested in. Okay, let's start with lipsticks. Um, I got three of the lipsticks, and the first one I'm going to show you is called Courting Lilac, and it's a glaze finish. It looks like that. And it's just a beautiful purple. And I've been loving my purples lately. I also got Full Fuchsia, and this is uh, normally a pro color, so you can only get this at MAC Pro. But it's out in this collection for the holidays, so if you want it and you don't have access to a pro store or whatever, you can get it now. And it's exactly what it's called, you know, full fuchsia. So it's definitely just a bright fuchsia color. And I also got Cut a Caper. Um, and this is a pretty peachy color. And this is, this is a luster finish. Oh, full fuchsia is, uh, and amplified by the way. So that's what cut a caper looks like. It's just a really pretty peachy color. I did not get Fairy Glen because I have so many other lipsticks that look just like it that you know why bother and then there was another color that was like a reddish brown and um, that color range just you know I can't pull that off but that would be great for somebody with darker skin. Um, so that's what I got for lipsticks, and then they had um, Dazzle Glass Creams. So some of them look like lip glosses colors that I already have, so I just wanted to get the things that I didn't already have colors like that. Uh, this is called Passing Fancy. And that that's what, it's like a bright coral color lip glosses are always hard to do swatches on that's what it looks like swatched yeah I didn't have any lip glosses that were you know this bright corally color so I figured I'd get that and then the other one I got was radiant jewels And this is um, sort of like a 
a magenta color. And I thought I had one like this um, from the Dare to Wear collection, but it's really not the same color. I'll show you. See, so those are actually nothing alike, but um, I almost didn't get this because of that. And let me just quickly wipe off my hand so I can put some more swatches on there. Okay, so that's what I got for the Dazzle Glass Creams, and those are nice because they're, you know, a little bit creamier than the regular Dazzle Glasses. Um, okay, the Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliners. I already had three of the colors uh, because they were previously released with the Art Supplies Collection, so um, I only got the two colors that were new. And uh, these are great, by the way. Really nice eyeliners. Uh, the only downside is they have glitter in them, so don't use them on your waterline because that wouldn't be safe. But you can use them on your upper lid or you can use them um, under your lower lash line. So this is called Lord It Up. And it's um, brown, kind of like a bronzy brown color with glitter. And I also got Black Swan. And this is just a, a black with glitter in it. Um, but these are really so easy to, to work with. Um, and then I also got one of the new eyeshadows. Now I wasn't, I wasn't going to get this, but after playing with the uh, the sample ones at the store, I couldn't not get this because this is a new formula of eyeshadow from Mac, and it's very soft. And um, when you apply it, you can make it either darker in color if you put a lot on or you can blend it out and make it get lighter in color and the, the color that I chose um, I think I'm going to be able to do a lot with this. I think I'm going to be able to use this in a lot of ways. This is called Glamora Castle and it looks like this. So it's it's gray with blue plaid and um, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to do a lot with this uh, because I could wear this as a lid color and then put black in the outer V and smoke it out. Or I could use this as the outer V or crease color and put um, like a teal or a blue on the lid. You could also use this with purple. You, you could really do a lot with this color. And it comes in some other pretty, pretty colors as well. But these are... Um, you know, they're huge. They're much bigger in size than a regular MAC eyeshadow. But um, I bought so many other things I wasn't going to get this, but then just decided, you know, at the last minute to go ahead. And then um, I got some other things that are not part of this collection. And I, I was just chatting with the MAC makeup artist about uh, the Disney Venomous Villains collection, and I said how bad I felt that I didn't end up getting Bite of an Apple. And he said, I, I have it if you want it. I'm like, what? <laughs> that sold out everywhere. And he's like, well, I've got, I've got one left if you want it. So I got the, the bite of an apple blush. I, I was shocked because I figured I just wasn't going to be getting this at all. But it's just a really pretty uh, corally color. So I'm really, really amazed that they had this but I live in a small city so um, you know people aren't like as up on the trends and stuff so it's easier to get things but I'm I think he said that was the last one he had of that so I was thrilled I got that and I also got uh, a paint pot in black ground because I didn't have any black bases and this is um, this is kind of 
almost like a dark gray so this is going to work as a dark base for lots and lots of looks and things so i got black ground paint pot and um i saw this thing in a magazine where this uh, they did this look on somebody and they used this which is um a lip pencil in Night Moth, and this is from the Permanent Line. And it's kind of a, let's see. It's kind of a reddish purple. It's a lip pencil, but they used it as an eyeliner in this look. And I wanted to try to recreate this look on my own, and I didn't have anything like this in an eyeliner or a lip pencil. Um, so I need to get the eyeshadows that they use because I don't have those either. But uh, when I do, I want to try to recreate that look and do a video on it. Um, but if you're going to use, uh, this is just a, 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 a tip aside, if you're going to use a lip pencil as an eyeliner, um, make sure that you sharpen it first because by sharpening it you're going to be removing any like bacteria or anything that's on there and then you can use it in the eye area and it'll be safe to do so um so i just figured i'd throw that out there so that's what i got from um the new mac a tartan tail holiday collection and um that's it for today i guess see ya